Hello again, cookery lovers, and welcome to the Underground Cookery School fortnightly video podcast. Now, you've already seen me bone out um, a bream, but I'm going to do it again because then it saves you having to look at two podcasts. But um, use a flexible knife, and um, I'm going to slide a knife all the way along and just carry all the way as I go. Ah, now you see, look, if I carry on, I'm going to go in there and lose lots of fish. So I can actually save the job by going back out and then going back in again. Do you see what I did there? I love it when things don't go right in a demonstration because it shows you um, how to recover from your mistakes because everything is salvageable, which is what we preach at the Underground Cookery School. The reason we're doing this is because my fishmonger didn't bring me the Saint-Pierre that uh, I was hoping for, which is a flat fish. But um, uh, the, the, the main reason really for doing this this morning on this podcast is so that I can show you how to cook samphire, which is a beautiful sea vegetable, which is available from the end of May through to um, the end of the summer. So I'm just taking out these little bits, which is the rib cage. There we go. And all the way along here, you'll find that there are a few uh, bones, which are called pin bones. So um, I'm going to start by taking them off. But actually, if I'm really clever, what I'll do, I'm, I mean, I'm not that clever, but um, I'm going to put a bit of um, vegetable oil in the pan so that we can start, we can hit the ground running, so to speak, uh, because we want a hot pan to cook the fillets in. Uh, so I'm just going to take those pin bones out. Out they go. And there's about seven or eight per fish. So that's the first one. Um, and we'll just take out the pin bones from here as well. One, two, should we see how many there are? Three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of that, because I definitely don't need that. Right, fill it, lay that skin sign down on the pan. We've got a nice sizzle there, just going to keep them moving, just brown them off on both sides like that, give them a quick turn. Uh, notice that I'm cooking them um, in vegetable fat. Uh, vegetable fat burns at a much higher temperature and as a consequence um, uh, the oil doesn't burn so uh, you don't get nasty flavours in your fish. And we're just going to um, fry those off, keep them moving for about... I don't know, a minute, a minute and a half, um, and then we'll just give them a quick turn around the other side. So I'm just going to turn those around, give them about 30 seconds on the other side. Those fillets can go on there. Right, the samphire bit, which is actually the whole point of what we're doing. I don't want to cook the samphire in uh, vegetable oil, but I'll leave that grease in there. I'm just going to add uh, a bit of uh, butter, reasonable knob, and just let that melt down. And you definitely don't want the butter to catch, so I'm just purposefully cooking the butter um, off the flame. And for me, half the pleasure, I mean, you can put as much butter as you like in there, but half the pleasure of cooking samphire. is just, you know, soaking up that lovely buttery taste. I've also got some lemon here. So, lemon goes in, a little bit of black pepper, and that is pretty much all we're gonna do. So over here, we're just gonna finish the dish off. I've got some white truffle oil here. So I'm just gonna take my dish, um, and we'll just take a little mound of samphire, but this, I mean, this isn't really cooking, I mean, you know, guys and girls, if you stick this in front of your partner whilst they're watching telly, they'll say thank you very much, and um, what they won't realise is how easy it was to do. Fish goes on top like that, and in a day where, you know, most people don't eat carbs anymore, a um, little bit of white truffle oil, ah, we're just going to tidy the plate up a bit because I've messed it up, but again, you know, a little bit of that. And there you have my fillet of sea bream with pan-fried samphire and white truffle oil. <laughs>